Connecting the EV3 to your PC directly with a USB cable is the easiest and most reliable way to use it with EV3 Basic. Nevertheless, having to use the cable can be quite cumbersome in many circumstances, especially when developing mobile robots. EV3 Basic supports both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi wireless connections. The relative advantages and disadvantages of each type of connection will be discussed shortly, but in most situations it's recommended to use a Bluetooth connection rather than a Wi-Fi connection. Whichever wireless connection method you choose, it's strongly recommended to work in brick mode, i.e. running the program from EV3 Explorer after first having saved the program in small basic, since it is more reliable than PC mode, running the program from small basic. If you use PC mode, running the program from small basic, then the program will run on the PC with lots of data passing between small basic and the brick to control the motors and provide feedback from the sensors and motors. A momentary interruption of this flow of data can cause the EV3 program to end early. Therefore, compiling the program to the brick and running the program on the brick may reduce the likelihood of problems occurring. Note that when working in brick mode, it's convenient and acceptable to have Small Basic and EV3 Explorer working at the same time, in which case EV3 Explorer will have the wireless connection to the brick and it will not be possible to launch programs directly from Small Basic. When you have a working Bluetooth facility on your PC, either with a Bluetooth dongle or built-in, you can configure the EV3 to communicate with the PC wirelessly. If not already done, you have to pair the EV3 with your PC to allow communication. To do so, first activate the Bluetooth features on the EV3. In the Settings menu, activate the Visibility and Bluetooth options. Then on the PC, open the System dialog Bluetooth Devices. There you can search for the device and start to establish a connection to the EV3. The process requires you to confirm the action on the EV3 as well as on the PC, and you will even have to enter the correct coupling code at some point. It should be 1234. Once the connection is set up and the automatic installation of the appropriate drivers is finished, your PC can communicate with the EV3 over a so-called serial port, which will be named COM1, COM3 or the like. You can check which name was actually assigned by looking at the properties page of the EV3 Bluetooth device. Alternatively, on the PC side, you can open the Bluetooth settings page, click More Bluetooth Options, and then the COM Ports tab, and you should see something like on the next slide, a Windows 10 screen capture. If you get a choice between incoming and outgoing ports, use the outgoing port. To use the newly established connection with EV3 Basic, just start your program from Small Basic or from EV3 Explorer. When no EV3 can be found directly connected via USB, but there are possible serial ports available, the PC will prompt you to select one of these ports. If you choose the right port, the connection should work. Recall that starting the program from Explorer after first having saved the program in Small Basic is the preferred method, since it is more reliable. Like a Bluetooth connection, a Wi-Fi connection allows you to connect to your EV3 brick without using a USB cable. Wi-Fi has some advantages over Bluetooth concerning range and speed, but also comes with some drawbacks like higher power consumption and the need to add a Wi-Fi dongle to the EV3. Also, the Wi-Fi setup only works when you have a Wi-Fi router available. Furthermore, the EV3 brick requires that you manually re-establish the Wi-Fi connection after each power up of the brick whereas the Bluetooth connection is established automatically after the very first connection. Unless you need the extended range that a Wi-Fi connection offers, it's recommended that you use a Bluetooth connection rather than Wi-Fi for the many reasons already given. To use the Wi-Fi option, you need a specific Wi-Fi dongle that is compatible with EV3 brick. Currently there is only one model that works with an unmodified EV3, Netgear WNA 1100, available from Amazon, which must be inserted into the large USB connector at the left side of the EV3. Setting up the Wi-Fi connection can be done from the settings menu on the brick, the rightmost tab, 
you have to activate the Wi-Fi option. It takes some time to start up the dongle, and then you have to establish a connection to the Wi-Fi router. If you've turned on encryption for your Wi-Fi network, as most people do, you need to enter the WPA2 key directly on the brick. Currently, no other Wi-Fi encryption methods are supported. Once you have successfully established a connection between the EV3 and your router, the EV3 should have received an IP address, which would look something like 10.2.3.4. Find the IP address that was assigned to your EV3 in the Brick Info section of the Settings menu and make a note of it. It's at the very bottom of the list. Be sure to close all dialog boxes on the Brick after establishing the wireless connection, otherwise it's not possible to run an EV3 basic program in either PC mode from Small Basic or in brick mode using EV3 Explorer. When you want to finally connect to the EV3 from a Small Basic program or with EV3 Explorer, use the Wi Fi button in the dialog box that asks for which connection to use. Then enter the IP address exactly as it was shown on the brick. You only have to enter the address once. For future uses, it will be already in the list. Note that the brick does not automatically connect to the Wi-Fi router when starting up. You always have to activate the connection after each power up. Key points to retain from this video. A wired USB connection will always be more reliable than a wireless connection. If you need to use a wireless connection, then in most situations it's preferable to use a Bluetooth connection rather than Wi-Fi. It may be preferable to use Wi-Fi if you need extra range. 
Whichever wireless method you use, it's recommended to use brick mode rather than PC mode. In other words, it's recommended to use EV3 Explorer to compile your program to the brick rather than running the program directly from small basic.